Hey y'all, a couple installments ago, I showed you a porch swing, bench swing, that Rachel was always wanting. There was something else she was always wanting, and this took way longer. But I surprised her with it when she came back from Italy as well. So that's coming up. All right, folks, some of you may or may not know, uh, Rachel, I had a birthday not that long ago. And I told her her trip to Italy for school, that was gonna be her birthday gift. But that was only so I could hide the fact that I was gonna do something else. So she's been asking for a greenhouse for a long time, right? And so she bought one of these greenhouses. You can buy them at some of the big box stores um, in America. And we bought it from one of the like box store style building supply places. So she's got this little, uh, it's probably like eight by eight um, greenhouse. And eh, it's, it's served its purpose. It's, it's done. Um, it's too short too small it's probably 10 years old so I mean it did last so if you're thinking about buying one that they last they're just on the small side but we're looking at doing a greenhouse that's going to be 8 by 12 a little more than 8 by 12 um, yeah so actually that's probably six by six because it comes out to where, you know, I'm doing some rough measurements and where this comes out to like this way from the wall is just about how far the, um, the new greenhouse is going to be. It's actually a new greenhouse is going to be maybe a foot farther. But if you look behind that greenhouse is still quite a bit of room. So this greenhouse is going to be nice and big. So it's going to come out to about a foot past there. So if you look, you know, behind me, you can see here's where the greenhouse is. So it's going to actually, it's a lean-to greenhouse. It's actually going to touch the wall across the top and down the sides. And that wall is going to be part of the greenhouse. Then it's going to come all the way out this way to about right here-ish. Right? Then, let me flip you around. You saw we put this solar up and everything, and we had other plans when we put this solar up that we were going to, you know, do a greenhouse and stuff back here. We weren't really sure how we were going to do it. But right now, if I start this one particular greenhouse size, it's going to start a couple inches from these solar panels, and it's going to come all the way across, and it's going to stop right where this gutter downspout comes down like here right where that wall is so th this greenhouse is like meant meant for this space it's it's like perfect the problem is they poured this slab to level it out and as you can see it goes down to this door and everything and we got to look in the other day me and my neighbor because we were talking about how to set this greenhouse and because the slab from from here that way has a grade and we have to figure out how we're going to level it and you know the, the the way we decided or the way i decided to level it was i was just going to basically make like a wall under where the greenhouse goes so that's going to end up about 19 centimeters on the on on the downhill end so that end behind me and it'll be zero on the uphill end so it'll kind of be a, a like a little, little look retaining wall that goes all the way up to 19 inch, 19 centimeters on that end. And the, the pitch, there's a little bit of a pitch on this, um, on this um, pad away from the building, of course, to, to pitch the water away, which, you know, it's a good idea. 
So I have to raise it a little bit on the outer end. So out here, it has to be up a little too. So I have to make this box that's going to be from right here. It's going to have to come out. And, you know, so zero is going to be at the wall. Then it's going to slowly taper up to uh, probably about that high out here, right about there. And then it's going to go from this out here up 19 centimeters to that far end. It's going to be fun. But, you know, we got to look in and we got to poking around. And so this block wall, which is just, it used to be part of an old barn because we, we would be standing in the old barn. We tore that out. That block wall's got to go. And this cement platform's got to go. So let me flip you around again. And if you look, I knocked out the wall. Um, I, didn't, I didn't tape it because it literally took a couple of smacks because as you can see, this slab is just piled on rubble. It's, it, they, piled, they piled rubble in a box and then they poured, I don't know, a couple inches of cement. So that whole slab has to go. The good news is it is only a couple of inches on top of, on top of this cement, on top of this rubble. And, and, you know, right here on this very end, it's actually on the cement, which means it should be. And we all know about should, you can't plan on should, but my hopes are I can just bust it up really easy with uh, the jackhammer and the tractor. And so, what we're going to do is from here, right there, all the way down past the solar panels, we need clean slate. It all has to go. And we have no choice. If we want to set her greenhouse up, this has to go. Right now, I have, it is Monday. She comes back next Thursday. I think it is from Italy. So the time crunch is on. I have to pour this little ring wall, let it set up, and then get this greenhouse anchored down to it. And so that it's done when she comes home. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I'm gonna try. I've been waiting for holes in the weather and everything like that. And I've been in contact with the company for the, the greenhouse. And, you know, the final conversation with the, with the people, uh, the company for the greenhouse is they've got it. They've got the, the size. So they had one that's called a 45, which was five panels long. So I understand the 45. It was five of the, of the panels long. Uh, so it was three meter 22. And they had a, a version that was called the 47, which was seven panels long, and it was four meters, whatever. So they, I, I reached out to them because I wanted to buy an extension package that made it 62 centimeters longer so that we ended up around the, the I think it's the eight, or it should be 10 by 12, something like that. I'm, I'm not even 100% sure. At any rate, it made it one panel longer. So they had the 45 model, which was 322. They had the 47 model, which was four meter something. And I wanted to push it to 384, I think it was. So instead of the buying the kit, it's actually five euro cheaper to buy the 46 model, which is six panels long. So we're going to do that. We're going to buy that. Uh, it is the right size. We'll buy it. We'll get it here. Um, in the meantime, I got to go tomorrow to pick it up. Uh, I did take vacation this week so that I can job out. My plan today is to have this clean slate, pick up the greenhouse tomorrow to 100% confirm the foundation requirements. I want this here and, and on the property 
before I start all the work to prep a foundation. So the foundation itself is going to be a ring wall uh, that starts at zero, zero up on this end. Well, actually, we're over here. This will be the zero point. It'll come out this way and up probably, if I had to guess, probably about yeah, three inches or so. And then, of course, like I was saying, it's going to come down this way. And right here, about there, it's going to be 19 centimeters. So about that much. I think that'll be all right. Uh, we will put a little bit of rebar in it to keep it uh, stable. So what I'll end up doing is uh, making forms. And this is all new to me, so I'm not a mason either. Just like I'm not a farmer. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to pour a ring wall. And uh, I'm going to do it out of, out of uh, cement, you know, sack cement. And... Um, hopefully I can use one of my neighbor's, uh, cement mixer machines. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably make the, the, the ring wall probably 20. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the width of that. And the reason I say it is margin of error, right? Uh, so that we have that room just in case. Um, it is off a little bit wonky. The only thing I am going to do is on this end here, what I'm probably going to do on this run coming out is just not pour a ring wall, but make it where the mortar, I'm going to mix up the cement and just, you know, basically lay it in mortar because the door is going to be over here. And what I don't want is a wide area where the door threshold is. The door threshold is probably going to be up about this much because the door is, you know, closer to the wall. But I don't want a huge, you know, a huge place where you got to step up over because that's going to lead to dragging toes, screwing up the threshold and stuff like that. With that said, uh, we'll, we'll probably have to raise it maybe, I don't know, maybe a centimeter where the door actually is. So my plan there would be to make a pillow of mortar and actually set it on the pillow of mortar. This, this end is way too, way too deep to do that. Um, so we'll, we'll work this all out. Um, in the meantime, I got my work cut out for me. She's got a bunch of crap set in, in this greenhouse. It's all the garden stuff for the garden because the garden is, you know, it's right here. So it's all our garden tools and extra pots and buckets and, and all this stuff. But we got to get this clean slate. We got to get this cleared out. And so that's today's adventure. And getting this all set up is going to be a week or, a week or change. I'm hoping it's not that long because a lot of it is getting it, the foundation poured, you know, the little ring wall poured and letting it um, cure because I'm going to have to drill uh, small holes in it to anchor this down because we do get winds here and we don't need this greenhouse blowing away. Um, yeah, so this is a surprise for Rachel. So this video is going to be delayed in coming out. Most video that I shoot comes out in the week that I shoot it, but this one's going to have to wait because I can't release it because she'll end up watching it and she'll know all about it. But this is enough talking. Let's get to wrecking all of this. I'm not going to wreck this. I'm actually going to move it up. I'm going to use some little wheelie boards, but let's get to, to doing this work. All right, y'all. We're all right, y'all. We're going to stop for the day. Um, yeah, so in cleaning out the greenhouse, Found a family of the ground mice. They kind of look like voles, kind of look like mice. So they fit in the food chain. Um, I left them be. They're down there. 
Uh, I'm gonna give mama a chance to move them because they do fit in the food chain. So she's got until tomorrow. Then I gotta move that because it's gonna be an, it's gonna be a big hustle. Get this moved and get this all tore up. So I you know people are like oh they're mice you should kill them this that they fit in the food chain here you know we have animals that eat them they eat other things so I don't have a problem with them in the house or the barns apparently in the greenhouse but I think that was just you know mama had her babies and needed a safe place for them so I'll give them you know time to move out if they don't be unfortunate but gotta do what i gotta do right but we'll pick back up tomorrow all right folks so it is the next day and <clears throat> we <clears throat> we gave the uh the mice the voles whatever they were they look like voles like little moles little digging creatures we gave them time to get out of the greenhouse, the old greenhouse. So, if you can see, it's a beautiful day. A little bit of high clouds. We're supposed to get rain later. And I really gotta get going on this because I just reached out, or I should say the company reached out to me and for the greenhouse and was asking, you know, they were like, hey, we're ready, we got it. Are you gonna come pick it up? So I told them, yep, I'm gonna be there uh, at one o'clock this afternoon to come pick it up but let me flip you around so I left this plastic in here this is where those mice were they were down in there right there and they're gone so that means I can go ahead and move this which lets me get rid of this which lets me get rid of that it's going to be a busy couple of days here because I got to get rid of this. And the plan is just to move this down, down the pad. And then later on, we'll move it up the pad when it's clear. Um, I won't throw it out because it's still pretty good. Um, and yeah, so we got to get to work. Let's do it. Okay, so the way this is working out in my head, at least, is... Putting this on the wheelie boards, like you see down here, and then wheeling it out of the way. Now that she's all empty, it should not be a problem. The only problem we're probably going to run into is it's going to want to roll away. So, to stop that, I am going to take... Hopefully, we'll say these three rows of bricks, and then we'll try. I got to get it up on this other wheelie board. This is going to be interesting, but the way it works out of my head is put it on wheelie boards and wheel it out of the way. So we'll see. So far, so good. All right. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> so... Once we get the pad gone up there, I will uh, roll this up to the upper side and set it along the wall so she has an additional greenhouse. Um, I don't know. Maybe she'll want it gone. I, I, I just, I don't know. It's, I'm trying to get her birthday gift done. Um, 
speaking of which, the other part of the uh, other gift showed up. And the last part is in delivery status. So hopefully we'll have all that and I'll get that other video out of the other birthday gift for her. So, all right, let me get the wheelbarrow, get you moved and get rid of some of this straw she's got here. So in all honesty, folks, if you'd have asked me, I don't know, any time in my past, if I'd buy a pitchfork, I told you you're crazy. Yet, here I am with a murder hornet. Yeah, one of them big hornets. I'm not allergic, but I'm not into pain. So anyway, if you'd have asked me if I'd have bought a pitchfork, I told you you're crazy, but I bought a new pitchfork. I guess I'm becoming a farmer. One piece of equipment at a time, right? Well, that weather that the weatherman said was supposed to come, it's, it's almost here. The winds have changed and we're getting little bits of rain. So I'm gonna try to, the bucket is slowly emptying, it's going down this thin hose. Uh, I gotta get everything in that can't get wet and yeah. Uh, it's supposed to the weather it's supposed to rain and then it's supposed to stop so that I can get back out here with the tractor and my plan is and I don't know if it's going to work is to push on the wall with the forks and just try to push it over and then jackhammer it um, with the pogo stick and see if I can break it all up and do the same with this uh, pad the pad doesn't look like it's rebarred or anything like that. So what I'm going to try to do is use the, the pallet forks on the tractor and kind of lever it up and drop it um, to see if it'll just break. If not, I'm at it with the jackhammer. But let me get all this stuff wrapped up and get it put inside because, yeah, we're, uh, we're facing rains. Yeah, so this is going to slow things down a little bit. Hopefully it's passing. Uh, it said it was, but it's for a couple of minutes it was coming down, and the camera makes it a lot brighter than it seems. But you can see it's it's kind of dark. Like, yeah. Hopefully this is a passing storm because I got a lot of work to do to get this foundation ready for this greenhouse. And yeah, yeah, it's just the way it works right all right y'all let me roll this window up don't know if you can see it but we got a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck we got the greenhouse it was a little weird um i guess they mostly deal with online sales so they don't really have an office and i mean they have an office but not like a storefront so I had to wait for them to come out and you know all this and 
paid for it and then I had to go to another warehouse to pick it up and that was a little confusing but hey not a problem we got it it's in the truck it took longer to navigate around the where the office was and where the warehouse was and all that it took more to do that than it did to drive there so we got like another 15 20 minutes in the house and then i gotta figure out how to get it out of the truck because these jokers are big so i had to put the tailgate down to get them in the truck and they're big boxes so this greenhouse is a little more than eight and a little more than 12 uh, you know dimensions foot so it's a good size greenhouse I just hope it's big enough for mama I think it's going to be uh, they I could make it one size bigger and in fact you can make them pretty much as big as you want because what they have is they have a door side and a back side and then any to adjust the lengths they have these middle pieces that I got two middle pieces which make it you know four boxes and makes it 12 foot long so each each box roughly four foot well we got it it's in the truck we got yeah, my credit card took a big hit but mama's worth it you know she'll be happy I hope and now the rush is on to get this thing done so you saw this morning I was uh, getting the area cleared out and the rain hit us so I'm hoping that the rain holds off because it's not raining now and it's a good thing because we got a bunch of boxes in the back of the truck and they're not covered. But we're headed to the house and I'll get these offloaded and we'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm fixing to try something. Probably shouldn't. But I'm gonna. And remember that wall I, I had been talking about? I gotta get rid of it. That wall. We're gonna try using the tractor to knock it over. It'll make it so much easier if it's laying flat when I need to jackhammer it instead of trying to hold the jackhammer up and chop at the wall. I mean, it should work. Let's figure this out. This tractor has a gear that'll move houses. It'll move at about one kilometer an hour. That's slow. But it's torque. So, huh. well, let's see what happens. a little too slow we'll go low three got to give her a thump you know all right it's giving a thump and I can see it moving a little bit but we need a little more so here we go again Oh, 
Oh, she's going. Oh, there she goes, folks. That's one. You know, it worked. Now we gotta flip some stuff around and all that. I got another camera over there that's gonna catch everything at a good angle. So I need to focus on driving. Alright, I think we got all we're gonna get. The rest I'm gonna probably need a jackhammer for. It. But it was a wall. It's not anymore. Alright, so we got that wall knocked over. <clears throat> well, ninety more than ninety percent. I'll show you what I mean. We got a little bit of a holdout. I can't really get in there and get it but that's a lot easier to do what is that one two three four four or five four or five center blocks it's easier to just bust those up but now these i just need to get them in manageable pieces and i can use my grapple to grab them and get rid of them now there's that cement i was talking about and you can see he filled it in with a lot of stone and such to try to make the job easier well it's going to make the job easier for me too because now i only have like this much cement they gotta manage to dice up i'm gonna need the jackhammer that's gonna be tomorrow because we're gonna make a lot of noise a lot of noise and it's near dinner time now but we got we cut the wall down we'll navigate that we'll get this all chipped up tomorrow and yeah we got the greenhouse the greenhouse is up and up top i'll show you that here in a minute it's a lot of boxes but we got it here now i just got to put it up and i got to fix this uh gutter 
thing that's going on here that the wife used to put it in the bucket and all that. We'll, we'll straighten all that up too. So, well, off we go. All right, y'all, as you can see, darkness has fallen. I've been working this editing for this uh, greenhouse build. And yeah, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of footage. So we're going to end it here and we're going to pick back up on it. That, in, that installment will come out uh, as soon as I can get it all edited. But you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the WhatsApp or the WhatsApp. You know you'd like to hear from them too. And until the next part of this installment, Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you.